Slut Judge Knowing the sludge depth in the clarifier is important to know. One needs to know the depth of sludge for proper process control. It is used to determine the rate of sludge withdrawal. The higher the depth of sludge, the higher the rate of withdrawal should be. Taking the sludge depth is done by two methods. One using electronic measuring devices that can be permanently mounted or hand-held portable ones. Another method is using what is known as a sludge judge. As you can see, it is a long, clear plastic tube with a foot valve. The tube is normally marked in one foot increments. Determine where you will be taking the reading at. Normally, a good starting point is about one-third the distance between the center and the circumference of the clarifier. Prior to taking the sample, make sure the sludge collector and scum skimmer is 90 degrees to the clarifier bridge. Lower the sludge judge into the water slowly by using the hand over hand method. Remember, you must lower it slowly to avoid filling the tube with water rather than sludge. Video shows two different manual sludge level measurements. The first measurement is taken slowly, allowing water to equalize in the tube, therefore showing a reasonable accurate sludge level. The second manual measurement is taken fast, which does not allow water time to equalize in the tube, therefore a suction effect occurs that pulls the sludge with it. This gives a false reading. Once the tube hits the floor of the clarifier, the foot valve opens, allowing the tube to fill with sludge and water. Count to five and slowly start lifting the sludge judge using the hand over hand method until one is able to read the level of the sludge in the tube. Empty the tube by touching the foot valve on a solid area within the clarifier. Store the sludge judge properly and record the sludge depth in the daily report. The sludge judge can be used to do what is known as a sludge depth profile. This means that you take sludge depth readings at different points of the clarifier. The way to do this is mark the clarifier bridge in one to two feet lengths and place a marking. Take the readings at the markings and then record and plot the readings.